Hey guys, Ivan here. So we have something very interesting uh, in this video. It is a topic of William Bonek and whether he is or isn't using Sintol in his arms. So this photo and a couple of more were posted by Milos Sharchev and the caption was accused of using Sintol in his biceps. People, please just look at his granite. And for real, I mean, if you look at his bicep, if you look at his close up photo, you will see some lines there, you can see some feathers on those biceps, you can see vascularity, you can see small blood vessels and the big ones as well, you can see fibers, you can literally see thin, thin skin and just pure muscle. So right here it really doesn't look like he's using Sintel, but is he? Because me personally, I never used it, but I know people who say that if you use it properly, if you inject it deep under the tissue of the muscle, it actually won't be noticeable, it will just make your muscles fuller, it will make them pop more, it will kind of change the shape a little, but it won't affect the conditioning of the muscle, the details. At least that's what they are saying, again I don't have experience with this, but guys like Dave Palombo, also, Boston Lloyd, for example, were using it, were using big amounts, and they were open about it. What they told us, basically, is if you use a small amount, and if you put it deep into the muscle, it won't be noticeable. And if you take a look at this photo here, I mean, Dave and, and Boston are not exactly the best examples, because they, they used a lot. And still, they had some vascularity, maybe not the details and the fibers like bone egg, but they had some vascularity, so veins, really, they are not really a proof that somebody is not using Sintel. Alright, now back to Milo Sharchev, uh, he was one of those bodybuilders who struggled with arm development. His arms, as you can see right here, this is 1997, which was, by the way, the year where he took 10th at the Mr. Olympia in a really deep lineup, anyways, he always struggled with arms, he never really had great arms, and for that reason it was surprising uh, seeing Milos holding his own against the very best Kevin Levroni and Ronnie Coleman, those guys were really blessed with arms, and Milos was just standing there, not even being dwarfed in the arms department, so how was this even possible in only a year or two? Of course, he used Sintel, and he admitted it, he talked about it, because he had a misfortune with it, he somehow ended up injecting it into a vein, which almost led to him dying at one point. And did it help his physique? Well, you know, battling against the monsters like Ronnie Coleman and Kevin Levroni maybe it helped a little, but really it ruined his physique, I mean, he was known as an aesthetic guy, and it definitely destroyed his aesthetics, his arms didn't look normal uh, ever again, and why I'm telling you this right now, I'm telling you this because this was the experience of Milo Sharchu with Sintel, he destroyed his physique with it, was it obvious that he <laughs> used it? Hell yeah, it was obvious, everybody could notice that something was weird with his arms, so it didn't help him, why? Is it because everybody destroys their physique with using CEOs, site enhancement oils, or is it because he used some brand that wasn't good, or maybe he used something else, not really Sintel, like Rich Piana for example, he did not use Sintel, he used the collagen or whatever, just like those Sintel freaks uh, who are not even using real Sintel, uh, what they're doing is they're putting some kind of sterile oil, a lot of it, but based on Dave Palombo, if you use Sintel, if you use it properly, it doesn't stay in your muscle for very long. It's just oil, it gets metabolized. Just like when you're injecting um, steroids, you know, they are oil-based. They get uh, dissolved in your body. And look at Dave's arms after his career. They did not stay big, they, they downsized, just like everything else on his body. And Dave is also selling Sintel to a lot of pros, as he says. And I heard him say it before, I also heard Boston talk about it, that every pro, almost all the pros, are using a little bit of sight enhancement oil in this muscle or the other. Now, back to Bonek, is Bonek using it? I still don't know, I mean, if you look at this photo right here, you can see that his arms are shredded, right? I mean, you can see vascularity and you can see fibers. If you guys follow my channel, you might remember this video, 
this is where I felt really suspicious about William Bonex arms because look at him here. They don't really fit on this physique. They were looking weird. They were looking off, kind of like Rich Piana's arms. Those triceps were just hanging there and the biceps were really unproportionate. It didn't look normal, to me at least. It looked really suspicious. I wasn't sure, I thought he might be a genetic freak, but it really looked suspicious, wouldn't you agree? It wasn't just that, it was also these kind of photos where he would just sit there relaxed and his bicep would literally push his chest, right? I mean, it looked weird, it looked suspicious to me. Here's another photo that Milos posted, so the shape of these biceps is just abnormal. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> Just look at the shape of these biceps. How more bulging can they be? Like, look at that peak. It is absolutely insane. I mean, the vein is forming a letter U. How crazy is that? It's really freaking crazy. So, that's the reason. That, that's why I doubt him. That's why I, I find him suspicious in his arms. But now that he got really conditioned, peeled, shredded, you can see the fibers. And I mean, does that mean that he doesn't have oil in his arms? Well, now after seeing all these photos, I'm starting to actually believe that he doesn't use it. Maybe he's just that much of a freak. I mean, seeing all these fibers and everything, I don't know. Again, I never used it. Yes, Milos maybe had a bad experience with it, but he was also a coach for, I don't know, over 20 years now. So in all that time, he probably saw a lot of bodybuilders use it, and uh, he probably knows what muscle is gonna look like if you use it. Again, I go back to what Dave Palomba said, that if you use it properly, if you inject it deep enough, it won't be noticeable. So maybe that's why he has all these fibers, even though he's using it. I don't know, I don't know, whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.